Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich, although the last few seasons have been trying for the San Antonio Spurs and Greg Popovich. Um, he individually is closing in on an all-time mark. Uh, the wins have been fewer this year, but it was a couple of days ago uh, when Greg Popovich uh, passed Lenny Wilkins for second all-time in most coaching wins in an NBA career. And last night with the Spurs' victory over the Washington Wizards in a ridiculously high-scoring game, Greg Popovich sits at 1,334 coaching wins, which puts him one victory away from tying Don Nelson for all-time most coaching victories. And the most amazing thing about Greg Popovich is that he's done it with one franchise. It's very unusual. Matter of fact, I believe it's actually unheard of in today's sports to have an NBA coach coach for this long with one franchise. Um, I believe he's coached longer. Yeah, when I think about it, yes. He's coached even longer with the Spurs than Jerry Sloan coached with the Utah Jazz. He's been their head coach since 1996. So that's 26 seasons. And, um, you know, when he does get to win number 1,336, he'll have achieved it, even with the losing seasons, he would have achieved it in, in lesser seasons, a fewer seasons, than it took Don Nelson. Don Nelson, I believe, coached 27 seasons for various teams. Um, I know that right now, Greg Popovich would gladly trade that record for a higher seed and more victories, uh, but his place as an all-time coach is, is secured. Five NBA championships as a head coach. He is a three-time NBA coach of the year. And he is a four-time NBA All-Star Game head coach, Greg Popovich. And in my opinion, I think Greg Popovich is, when, when you think about as far as all-time coaches, he's top three, top four. He's somewhere in that range. The only ones, you know, not not think about I, I would say top. I'd say he's top five. The only ones I think are ahead of him are Phil Jackson, Red Arback, and Pat Riley. And you can make an argument for maybe someone else. Um, but he's definitely top four, top five. And being the all-time wins leader will add to that, you know. But anyway, just want to give a, a big shout out to Greg Popovich. You know, what's ironic is that um, Greg Popovich was at one point um, Don Nelson's assistant in Golden State. He was an assistant coach in San Antonio for several years. And when Larry Brown left as a head coach of the Spurs to go coach with the Clippers, uh, Popovich left to become a head coach with the uh, Golden State Warriors, well, assistant coach with Don Nelson. And then he left after a couple of years. I think he came back to the Spurs. I think he was working in the front office. And then I think, uh, I think it was Bob Hill resigned as head coach. Might be wrong with that. And I think Greg Popovich became the head coach. And the rest has been history. Now, some of it's been good timing. Great timing, yeah. Um, Dave Robinson comes back from injury. They draft Tim Duncan. Uh, they get back Sean Elliott. Uh, Avery Johnson steps up. Avery Johnson's not a great all-time point guard, but he stepped up and proved himself to be a very smart, uh, you know, a point guard and a great leader. But anyway, he's had some help. But he's still an all-time great coach. So tell me what you guys think.